Here's what I came up with, guys. Revolutionary. We're talking this is big time. I'm going to build basically like a 3D printer that mounts to your head like a hat. So it's going to be a 3D printer head mounted. And it's going to have the tool that pulls out hair, including a little chunk of skin at the base. That has the bulb of the hair. And it's going to pull it out, and it's going to eh, 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 plant it. Then it's going to release. Eh, 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 pull. Eh, 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 plant. And so this 3D printer type device, using computer vision to select where it needs to pick the hair with great levels of magnification which you will be able to see because it's going to project what it sees to your computer screen so you can verify it maybe it'll have like a green yes button you gotta click yes and then it will proceed with the hairs that it selected to pick out so it will strategically move through your permanent hair areas pulling hair and placing it in air areas that you need more hair and it will do all this based upon calculations. It will have AI. So it's basically like a 3D printer for hair transplants. It will be completely automated, except you'll be able to approve each selection of hair before it makes the cut. But, I mean, you could just set it to automatically do the whole thing. Yeah, but everybody knows what a 3D printer is, how it looks, and how it works. So when I say it's going to be the 3D printer of hair transplants... You know, I think that that's easy to understand for you guys. It's easier to explain, because you guys can visualize that. It is a relocation device, but the idea is, it's head mounted. You just put it on like a hat, and it does your whole surgery. Boom. Done. So that's what I'm going to actually end up doing now. It'll save a lot of time and hassle of me trying to individually do each one. You know, you can, you can watch a movie while it's doing your hair transplant. It's going to be painful, but what's great is I can get this machine approved by the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, and if it gets approved, I can then offer commercially, legally, hair transplant surgeries. However, it might need to be overseen by a doctor. I don't know. Well, Anna's going to be a doctor someday, so Anna can sit, sit in on these hair transplant surgeries. Maybe she'll take care of the anesthesia for patients. We'll knock them out, do their hair transplant, they'll walk out happy. So, and the best part of it all, if I can prove my hair transplant machine does a better job than a, a surgical team of doctors at a hair transplant office somewhere, I can charge as much as they do, which is, you know, 20 to 40 grand a pop. So literally, I can have, you know, two or three people come here a day, sit down in my chair, get their hair done as an outpatient procedure, and they walk out. And I make 60 k a day. $60,000 a day I stick in my pocket. Now, that's chump change for a guy like me who's building a robot army, but, you know, it's not bad for a little side money. So I'll be the first patient of my hair transplant machine. And it's going to be great. And you guys will get to watch. When is this going to happen? In 33 years? Uh, I don't know. I added it to my to-do list, so it's going to happen when it happens. I'll be taking bites out of this project in, you know, two-hour chunks. Uh, once a month, maybe. So eventually it will get done, uh, slowly over time, as part of my morning routine. One day a month, couple hours, it will slowly move forward.